The Lupo Movie Light 300 Dual Color Pro is the first model in the new Movie Light Pro range. However, a new Movie Light 600 Dual Color Pro is also planned. Further versions will be coming in 2022. Cobb spotlights have become increasingly popular due to their versatility and it comes as no surprise that Lupo now wants a piece of that pie. Lupo has been making affordable, high-quality LED Fresnels for many years and they were around way before companies such as Aperture, Forza, and Nanlux. Lupo has a strong pedigree in making Fresnel and high-output 1x1 and 2x1 sized panels, but the Movie Light Pro range is their first foray into making Cobb spotlights. The new Movie Light Pro shares a very similar form factor to existing Lupo Daylight LED Fresnels. Lupo Daylight LED Fresnels are very popular with broadcasters, because they are robustly made, offer a good amount of output, and they can be run via camera batteries and controlled via an app. All of its fixtures are made out of reinforced technopolymer. This keeps the weight down, but it also makes the lights very robust for field use. The locking mechanism on the yoke frame is solid and the light won't move when it is tightened down. The Bowens mount seems to be nice and robust and Lupo is using a power can power cable on its latest fixtures as well. The Lupo Movie Light 300 Dual Color Pro weighs in at 5 kg or 11 pounds. What you need to remember is, this is a self-contained light and the power supply is built in the fixture so there is no additional power ballast that needs to be connected. This does make it very quick to set up and use. To compare to other fixtures, the Aperture Light Storm 300X dips the scale weighing at around 7.31 kg. The Amaran 200X Bicolor LED Light at 4.97 kg, Godox SL200 Watts Mark II LED Video Light which weighs 3.3 kg is the lightest of the four. The Lupo Movie Light 300 Dual Color Pro utilizes a simple yoke frame that has one lock-off mechanism but the movement will be limited when using a large softbox. The Movie Light 300 Dual Color Pro uses a 200 watts Cobb LED spotlight and it has a maximum power draw of 260 watts. The light can also be run off a V-lock battery using an optional battery plate. This optional V-mount clamp allows you to attach a V-mount battery to a rail, tripod leg, table, and other objects using a heavy-duty metal clamp. The basic controls of the light make it fairly easy to operate, but when you want to dive deep into the menu, things start to get a bit tedious. The buttons on the side of the light not only allow you to navigate the menu but also allow you to increase or decrease the intensity and Kelvin color temperature. Keeping these buttons on the side of the light has its disadvantages, the controls are hard to reach when you have the fixture on a light stand in a horizontal position because they are obscured by the yoke frame. But if you use it for studio setup and the light is rigged on the ceiling the buttons are not obscured. There are some basic effects that Lupo has included in this light and that is the television, strobe, paparazzi, and lightning effects. It is really good to have this here. The light also has full DMX capabilities as it includes both a DMX input and a DMX through. The Kelvin color temperature is adjustable from 2800K to 6500K and you can change the Kelvin temperature in increments as little as 1 degree. This allows for very finite control. The light has a beam angle of 85 degrees which is slightly narrower than most other similar lights. This cob is not usually used to illuminate large areas, green screens, or a wall. It makes a lot of sense to have it narrow because a lot of users use it with modifiers like the Dome Pro Parabolic Softbox from Lupo. This is the first ever fixture from Lupo to feature a Bowens mount. The nice aspect of a Bowens mount is that there is a wide array of affordable lighting modifiers you can choose from. On the back of the light, there is an adjustment knob that allows you to move the LED array backward or forwards a tiny bit depending on the type of lighting modifier you are using. The light does have a fan, it is audible but it is usable when recording interviews and other types of shoots. When using mains power at a 5600 Kelvin with its reflector, the fixture recorded output of 28600 lux. When powering it via a 260 watts V-lock battery the output is the same as running it via mains power. When using a 150 watt hours battery the output is 19200 lux with the reflector. When testing the light with Lupo's own Dome Pro which also has an included baffle, a reading of 2290 lux at 1 meter was recorded. The Lupo Movie Light 300 Dual Color Pro retails for $999. It should be available and shipping soon.